trying to light the truck up, guys. <laughs> oh. Sorry about that. Hi, everybody. Um, I just want to say I'm glad that I'm here on this event. Um, the event is sad. Homelessness. Addiction. Cops being killed. People being killed. Violence. We all bleed the same, y'all. All of us. Amen. I want to say another thing about domestic violence. My mom was beat every day when I was seven years old. She was in an abusive relationship. That's all I seen growing up. The struggle's real. Seeing all of that growing up, it made me grow up to be violent, to be angry. I didn't know how to deal with my feelings, but I had to learn and make an, another way in a better way. Community Care Alliance, thank you. You helped me with utility bills, food, mental health. It's deep. I'm a recovering addict. I'm coming up on 30 days clean. The struggle is real. The struggle is real, y'all. For real. It's not easy. Nobody never wants to grow up and say, I want to be an addict. It's the things that people go through every day. Nobody never knows what that person is going through every day of their life. You don't know their story. You don't know their story. But I know mine. And what do I do? I pass the message of hope, okay? I'm a vo vocational speaker. I was homeless. I was at crossroads. It was a challenge. I was never homeless ever in my life. But it was due to my addiction and making bad choices. Today, I live strong. I stay strong. God keeps me strong. Do I think about going to my whole life? Hell no! Amen. I want to live today. I want to live today. You know, when I first came out here, I seen some violence getting ready to happen. Don't do it here. That's what's going on with the world now. We need to love one another. Love one another. Unity. Unity. U-N-I-T-Y. This is my story. And anybody that's going through anything in your life, hold on. Just hold on. You know why? Because if it worked for me, it could work for all of us. No matter what you're going through. Domestic violence, anger, homelessness, rapid rehousing through Crossroads of Rhode Island. I was there. The director of Community Care Alliance helped me when I did, it was nowhere else to turn. I was at Crossroads, Rhode Island. The, le the director, her name is Audrey. You know what she said? I believe in you. I sat there every weekend in that shelter where I had to get up every day at 7 o'clock in the morning and didn't have nowhere to go. I said, I got to find somebody that's stronger than me, and that's my Lord. And everybody that came in that, in that building, Crossroads, you know what I told them? You're going to be all right. You're going to go through it, but you will get through it. You look at me, you'll be like, damn, it don't look like nothing's wrong with her. She went through it. I went through everything. And here I am today. The struggle's real. And you know what? Soon as I came here, I said to number 12, can I be on the news? <laughs> it wasn't to show my new kids or how fresh 
watch my lineup, boss. <laughs> it was about loving me, what's there inside. And I want everybody to know the struggle is real. I've been in one socket for four years. Due to my addiction and making bad choices in and out of prison, I said, you know what, I want to live today. Today, my ass got Section 8. Rehousing, Amos House. She said, LaShonda, you got Section 8. I said, hell no, you lying. You are lying. So they said to me, but well, we got to send you a BCI. I'm like, I don't want to see that shit. I don't want to see that. Excuse my language to the kids. I don't want to see that. They said, I said, I ain't going to get it no more. They looked at my life, where my life used to be. Four years ago, I did two years in the ACI. Came out, I didn't have nowhere to go. My next step, I went to Crossroads. I didn't want to be here, but I had to swallow my pride. Okay, here I am today. Four years in this apartment at 168 South Main Street in one socket. I've been here for four years. Rapid rehousing. All the workers there. All the people that's helping homeless, this, that, and the other. This shit's real. I didn't look homeless, though. I was fresh just like this. You can't judge a book by its cover. I can be a sister today. I could be an auntie. I could be a friend. I could be a lover. But the best thing is I could love myself today. And what I do today is pass a message of hope to any and everybody that's going through anything in your life. You will make it. Hold on. Be strong. Thank you.